Welcome to Focus Washington. I'm Chuck Conconi. My guest today is Alexander Mihalovsky, who's a senior member of the conservative Macedonian political party. Alexander, thank you for being here today. Thank you for the invitation and having a chance to talk with you. Well, you know, I, you've been around Washington now for a couple of days at top level meetings on Capitol Hill and in the administration. What do you hope to accomplish during this brief trip here? Yeah, we have great meetings, uh, one in the Senate and several, actually, nine meetings in the Congress with members of the Congress. And uh, first of all, we want to reaffirm and to strengthen the friendship between Macedonia and United States. Historically, United States of America was, uh, is the strongest and the uh, biggest ally of Republic of Macedonia. And our party, Vomero Dapone, was the strongest link in this relationship with, uh, with United States. Uh, with going astray of our leadership from the Euro-Atlantic path uh, and losing this relationship in losing this relationship with the United States, we, we were feeling that we need to come to, uh, to, to again to, uh, to explain to officials the United States that the uh, member of the party want uh, Euro-Atlantic path and that they have a strong ally and strong partner in the Republic of Macedonia. Well, isn't it that you're falling, Macedonia is falling under the sphere of influence of Russia, and that that's going to be a big part of the problem. So isn't that a big part of the Macedonian politics today? Yes, uh, we have seen that uh, Vice President of the United States, uh, Pence, has come to Montenegro and he has sent strong messages that uh, uh, Russia, uh, Russian influence in the Republic of Macedonia is strong and that uh, uh, Western Balkans are American interests and that Western Balkans should be part of the European Union and part of uh, NATO association. So uh, uh, these strong messages probably will uh, demotivate all forces that want to, to take Macedonia to other paths that it's not our natural path. We as a party, uh, from our very beginning, from the moment that we were the first democratic party in the Republic of Macedonia, and we were first anti-communist party, and we were first promoting uh, Euro, EU and NATO integration of our country. So uh, we were, from the very beginning, the strongest uh, link between Macedonia and United States. Last several years, this was hurted. What happened to cause that? Uh, you know, our party was a governing party for 11 years and uh, the way of how it was uh, governing the last five, six years uh, has started to be criticized by the West. This is when uh, our party has started to have influence from other sides and uh, this is when they started to, 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 to change the, the way of uh, how Macedonia is going from pro-European, pro-Western, pro-NATO country towards... Uh, Euro, Pro-European -Euro Union. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. We were always striving to be part of the Europe because it's, uh, we are ge geographically a part of Europe. All our neighbors are uh, members of European Union. All we will become neighbors of European Union. 80% of our trade is with the European Union. So it's natural the politics to follow the economics. So we should be part of the European Union. But your party is pro-Russian and how can you change that? Or what can, what can you do to change that? Uh, uh, this is why we have come here to, and we had the meeting that uh, the, 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 these policies are not the members that believe in. The party members uh, are, uh, want Macedonia to be European in the European Union, member of NATO alliance. So we want to, uh, to reform our party, again to reaffirm this aspiration of our party and the aspiration of Macedonia to be member of European Union and NATO association. Does that reflect the population at large? Uh, sure, yes, uh, because the last several years the propaganda uh, anti-EU and anti-NATO was uh, very fierce in, uh, in the social media and through some web portals. But uh, we are trying to fight against this. We want to, 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 to show to the people that the only way of Macedonia is European way. So we are uh, doing our best. We are going, uh, uh, we have a lot of local events. We have a lot of uh, uh, events on, in, on media. We have me, uh, media promotions. We have uh, also other activities in order to promote uh, uh, our uh, uh, activities 
to reform the party, to turn back the party to our roots, which was European uh, Union and NATO integration. And are you getting assurances that the United States will help you? And of course. I don't know, what, what can they do, actually? Yeah, of course. What can we do? Yes, of course. Uh, 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 the Congress has adopted a resolution in 2015, again reaffirming the U.S. support of Macedonia. Uh, U.S. is our strongest ally. Uh, U.S. has uh, granted more than one billion of uh, help for uh, uh, helping Macedonian institution, helping uh, democ the, the democracy in Macedonia. So uh, they, in that resolution, again reaffirm that the stable and prosperous Macedonia is the vital interest of the United States. Can so I, if I can ask you one quick question, we're running out of time. One quick question. Where do you see yourself in Macedonia, say, in the next 10 years? Macedonia will be a uh, member of the European Union, will be a member of NATO, will be a stable, prosperous, democratic country, and will bring stability to the region. Boy, that's an, that's an impressive answer. Thank you very much. I'm Chuck Kinconi, and this has been Focus Washington.